In high school, Sony was the fastest boy in class. It could outrun any flubberized Nikon body to the end of the playground. So now they continue this speed with a global shutter sensor a first in modern day technology. Am I excited about it? No. A7S III firmware, however, coming finally when they listen to us crying whiny baby YouTubers asking thank you for adding one of the 10 features I asked for. Do I look happy about it? No. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So first, let me just say, I cannot believe how many comments I'm getting saying, Sony A93, bro, your channel's finished. It's perfect. Oh, are you buying it? Do you, can you even fathom how far away you are from the truth? What on earth? would make me pounce on that thing that's worse than my a7s3 for video it does nothing that i can't do it does many things that i can do that it can't that's a sentence trust me it all worked out in the end honestly though like it's a revolution okay cool i'm glad photographers are happy with something that shoots super fast like i couldn't care less personally it's just super speed for what for what who takes a photo you see a, an eagle spreading its wings. He's smiling with a mouse. And imagine seeing that in slow motion video. And the mouse looks over at you and he's like, help, help me. I'm way better than a photo. So it's like, oh, I can freeze motion. No one cares, 120 frames per second. What are you gonna do when you get home? You're like, wow, I have to call through that? That's like calling fricking grass as groundbreaking as this camera is, like it's the best at what it does. It's the fastest, it's amazing. I couldn't be less interested in it. It's all photography stuff. It's so annoying to be me. Cause all fun, go and out, get some squirrel footage, animal eye detect, wow, good stabe. It's like, these are the things I'm looking for. And I like to watch videos of camera channels and every YouTube recommendation is just photography related stuff just because I like cameras for video, but they never understand me. YouTube doesn't even know me. I'm sad and I cry every night. But here's the reality. Global shutters come with many downsides. If you're looking for the best dynamic range and highest frame rates, like that ain't it. That's gonna take away from everything we know and love about video and photography. You'll get less sharpness, I'm sure. There's gonna be some weird, there's always a compromise. In order to read every pixel at the same time, they had to like stack it in a global sensor layer. And then like, oops, dynamic range, not quite as good. Color science, are you seeing the DP review? Sample images, I'm just seeing gray skin tones. Even worse, they took a step back from terrible Sony color science to like, 1995 NEX type stuff. Like point and shoot level green face. Just green, green and gray. Will they ever get skin tones right? That's all I care about. Will you get stabe and skin tones nice? And then up the frame rates. Couldn't care less about anything else. So fun times ahead for the A7S IV maybe, but not us, not now. The A7S III firmware, they're giving us like the least exciting feature of all the things I wanted, as far as we know. And it's four months, we gotta wait or something. Like who's even not gonna sell their camera by then? I'm selling mine immediately. And I might even boycott this firmware. It disgusts me. I want animal eye detect in video. That's all I really want. The focus breathing comp, I'll be honest with you. I have a bunch of Zeiss lenses that kind of focus breathe. Oh, they won't work with that feature. It's Zeiss, sorry. Only Sony lenses and you get clinical sharpness. What are you gonna do with that? Nothing. I was hoping for animal eye detect in video like your ZV-E10 has. What are we doing? It's in my menu system. That's the most unfathomable part. You can turn on animal eye detect for video. It does nothing. It only removes your face detect. Awesome. So you switch to photo mode, turn on animal eye detect, which works 
Oh, it did detect the eye. Cool. Okay, back to video. My face tracking is now turned off. And animal detect is on, even though it's not a feature that works in video. Is that going to be fixed? No. Doubt it. We're just getting focus breathing comp on Sigma lenses. They won't even work. Maybe we're getting it, and I don't know. All I saw was focus breathing and some other things that I didn't even understand. So I don't know. Am I super excited? Like, it's fun to get firmwares, I imagine. I have to live vicariously through other people who get it, like the Nikon users and Canon. Like, Canon C70 went from, oh, it's pretty damn good, to I can shoot raw internally now. It's like, wow, imagine buying a camera and then all of a sudden it's a way better camera. I've never known that feeling inside. All I can do is be sad all day long. As a Sony user, I fill my face. I'm fugly. Frickin' green. Wrinkled. Aging. Sadness. When you press a Sony record button, you only get misery back. I don't want tired of living that life. I deserve better. I eat healthy, damn it. I ate vegetables yesterday. Come on. Why are you doing this to me? What did I do to deserve this? Nothing. Sony, you suck. It's funny because Sony is so fast and speedy. Like all this new technology with the new dual processors, that should come down to the a7s3 and then we're doing 4k 480 frames per second and it's like wow can't believe it can't wait for the video centric version of your a93 photography loser camera with oh sports who watches sports it's other men having fun and you're doing nothing at home getting fatter with your chips your freaking corn chips by the way we're on a secret camera that the battery's about to die so if the show cuts off I'm, it's just ending so I've already kind of reviewed it in future episodes, but this is cutting the line and the new lens for it. So if we just stop, battery life isn't great. That's fine. So honestly, like well done, Sony. Sorry for just yelling at you, but it's a photography camera. I'm a video channel. I never talk about photography. I'm even allergic to it now for some reason. I used to take photos way more. I just uploaded a photo to my Instagram. I was only just testing the lens. I was like, oh, look at that. I was editing videos. I'm like, oh, okay. I, I have pressed the shutter button by mistake before, but I focus on video only and having fun and vlogging and the industry is not really catered to me. So I have to weed through a bunch of landscape photography. I don't care. This is what's best for astrophotography. Couldn't care less. I hope you freeze to death in the mountains. Look at this, I'm a wedding photographer. I hope the wife sleeps with your brother that night and you film it. And will you post the results in your wedding video? Yeah, Sally Ann, it's a bitch, isn't she? Wrong marriage. So it's like, well done, global shutter, couldn't care less. A7S III has the best like rolling shutter on earth. Like what could you, the only way I've ever seen it is the A6300, which had weird jello -y stuff. But like once you get to a point where it's like not really noticeable, global shutter's only downsides. So leave me alone. An A7S III firmware better have that animal eye detect. And the weird focus blocky thing that I will use once and make fun of. It better be in there. Embrace the tonne. Let the tunnet be with you tonight, in your heart. Just let it seep around there, look around in your body, looking for flubberized chips that didn't get digested. And good luck to you. Well done, Sony, for making something I hate. And firmware's for everyone. How you doing? You agree? Worst camera ever? I can't believe how many of you are like, this is the best, are you buying that thing? Do you even know who I am? Learn more. Read a book about my life. Read the Monkey Strength book. How you doing? Subscribing for more videos here?